been in the county? I've lived in Douglas County for 13 years, moved here in 2005. So you're practically a native at this point. You've been here a while. I've been here a while. Yeah. Still adjusting, but I've been here a while. And so you're with Legacy of Pearls. Legacy of Pearls Foundation. And so you, in, in those years of being here, have started giving back to the community. Yes. That's what this show is all about, servings, kitchen with a cause. Introduce yourself. My name is Roxanne Di Grimes, and I'm proud to be here representing Legacy of Pearls Foundation. And we're happy to have you. We'll talk more about Legacy of Pearls in just a little bit. But first, if you've watched this show, you know that this portion of the show is used to reveal the ingredients to our guests because they have no idea what we're cooking. We like to surprise them. So what we've done is we have cloaked the ingredients in what we call the beach towel of deception. Uh-oh. <laughs> So she has no idea what's under here. I'm going to pull the towel off, and you can analyze the ingredients and try to figure out what we're cooking. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. All right. All right. Do you cook a lot at home? Uh, Enough? yes and no. Little, okay. Enough. <laughs> we'll find out how good you are today. Okay. All right. So check it out. Okay. We have some mint, some bay leaves. Uh, it's two recipes. I'll go ahead and, and uh, tell you Some capers. That. Some chicken thighs. And don't feel too bad because we've only had a couple of people who have guessed what we're cooking so far Some filming pearl this show. Barley. No clue, right? No clue. <laughs> chicken something. <laughs> Very good, yes. <laughs> so so what we try to do on the show is we try to relate what we're cooking to the organization that we have on okay. with us. So what we have is Chicken and Legacy of Pearl Barley Risotto. Okay. And then we have Creamed Legacy of Pearl Onions. <laughs> <laughs> so we got that pearl in there. I see. <laughs> it was a little bit of a stretch, but this is sort of like a, a Mediterranean type cuisine. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna cook it. We're gonna see how how it tastes. Um, I've had risotto before. Love risotto. I like risotto. A little hard to cook, but we're gonna give it a shot. Okay. So when we come back, we're gonna start the first uh, main dish, the chicken and legacy of pearl barley risotto, and we're gonna talk a little bit about legacy of pearls. We're reset. We're ready to cook the chicken with legacy of pearl barley risotto. You ready for this? I'm ready. All right, I'm gonna put you to work. What we gotta do is chop up two stalks of celery, two carrots, so I'll have you do that. We also have to do an onion. I'll handle the onion. Okay. I don't like to let my guests do that. <laughs> you know, that's, that's the dirty part. So if you'll get started on that, what okay. I'm going to do is add a little bit of oil over here to my pan that's on about medium heat. So and just want these round? Uh, small chunks, probably. Chunks. Yeah, like, uh, let's see, so maybe like that. Okay. So like in wedges. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to grab this chicken and put it in the pan and get it nice and browned on all sides. That's the first step. Got me doing this sous chef stuff. <laughs> Putting you to work. All right, I'm going to start skin side down over here. Definitely got the pan hot. Yes, you did. How you doing over there? I'm making it. All right. Haven't cut myself yet. <laughs> well, that's that's the goal. <laughs> we don't want to cut our our hands in the kitchen. So, do you a lot do a lot of cooking at home? Some. Some. Yes, my enough kid. to get by. Yes, my kids are at the age where they can cook for themselves and fend for themselves. So, uh -huh. so I cook for me. 
There you go. I cook what I want to eat. Mm -hmm. Yes, and if they choose to eat it, they, <laughs> it's up to them. they can eat it too. <laughs> <laughs> Going to wind up cooking the chicken about five to eight minutes probably. Uh, and these are chicken thighs, bone in. Okay. And I'm not trying to cook them all the way through. I'm just trying to brown them on all the sides. So you are uh, the, would you be called the executive director? Of the president. President we of have, Legacy of Pearl. Yes, so we have a president and I have a senior vice president, mm -hmm. a uh, vice president of development that is really like our um, development person for fundraising grants. We have a treasurer, uh, a financial secretary, and then a corresponding secretary, and then several other board members. Okay, so you've got a, quite a team of people behind you. Yes. Yes. It takes a village. It does. It takes a literal village in, in this case. Yes. So how long has Legacy of Pearls been around? Tell us about your history. So the idea of the foundation came about in 2012. It took about a year and a half for everything to come together through the whole foundation process. And in 2014, we actually received the official word from the IRS uh -huh. that we were of the nonprofit status, okay. receiving our EIN and our charity status. So that's pretty quick going from conceptualization to actual nonprofit status. Yes, um, totally incorporated by the state. Um, you can look us up on the state's website. We are fully recognized by the state and by the IRS. Okay, so you are legit. We are legit. Awesome. Yes, and uh, we are very proud of our status and what we are trying to accomplish in the area. Awesome. Now I'm going to let you uh, finish telling me about Legacy of Pearls, and I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to be a nice guy, and I'm going to take over for you so you can concentrate on on your uh, on the information. Uh, so you guys have been around for a little bit now, um, and. You know, I've gone to your website and it looks like you guys are doing some, some great things and I think the easiest way to explain to people what exactly Legacy of Pearls is, is to tell us some of the things that you have done. Okay. So some of the activities that we have done, most no notably I'll start with one of the recent things that we did just last week is that Eastside Elementary we did a Toys for Tot uh, program in conjunction with one of the local organizations passing out toys for some of the children there. Uh -huh. um, we've written grants and received toys from Toys for Tots as well as Kids Are Kids and through those donations and in partnership with the local organization we were able to provide those toys to about 15 families at Eastside Elementary. Everything from bikes to um, stuffed animals to um, games to uh, dolls, you little, name it. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Um, and just seeing the faces of the children picking out the toys. Uh -huh. Each kid received four to five toys individually. I mean, these were toys that they could actually pick out. Right. It weren't, wasn't toys that were already wrapped that they had to guess right. um, and open. They literally got to go to the table they knew exactly and what they pick were out what they were getting. And then um, we had a raffle where they, if their number was called, they got 
the bigger toys, the oh, wow. bikes. And one kid, it was funny, we had this huge stuffed bear. I mean, the bear was bigger than the kid. <laughs> <laughs> so just being able to give back to the children at this time of year uh, is, is just something that we're proud to be able to do uh -huh. uh, through writing those grants and being able to provide that back to Eastside Elementary. We also do a scholarship every year for the local high schools, uh, giving out $1,000 or more to graduating students through an application process. Mm -hmm. And we do a book scholarship that's open not only in this local area, but it's open to any student anywhere. So they can always apply in the fall, and then we award that at the end of the year for January. Now, is that information on, on that, is that on your website? Yes, Harrier? it is. Okay. So it's on www.legacyofpearls.org. Awesome. Now, you were telling me earlier that, that you guys are affiliated with uh, another organization. And who is that? So we are uh, have an affiliation with Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Okay. Um, but we are our own foundation, but we do partner with the sorority on a lot of our programming events, right. as well as with other organizations. Uh -huh. But we do affiliate and partner with Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, the Douglasville chapter, which is Sigma Omega Omega chapter. Now, you guys started your own foundation so you could do a little more locally, yes. and be a little more nimble. Yes. Um, how has that worked out for you? That works out very well because it allows the local corporation, local businesses to be able to provide funding and programming to the foundation, um, to an organization that does have the 501c3 status, uh -huh. uh, where the chapter may not have that status. The foundation definitely does. We do. Uh, provide the tax status, we do provide the end of year statements, mm -hmm. even for individuals. Um, we do accept donations on an individual basis okay. um, for all of our events and programming. So, so if, if somebody wants to give, they can give. They can give. They can give. Money, or if you're calling for donations. We take in kind do donations, okay. we take services. Uh, we also have a program where if individuals wish to set up a named scholarship, okay, they can do so. We have a couple named scholarships on our website um, that individuals have set up. So if you're interested in setting up a scholarship in honor or in memorial of a specific person, mm -hmm. you can do so through Legacy of Pearls. Okay. It can either be a book scholarship. We have several opportunities in which you can set up a name scholarship for an individual. So it looks like, sounds like, that you guys have a lot of ways that you are giving back to the community. Yes. You know, you've got scholarships, you've got programs, you've got ways for uh, even individuals in the community to give back. Yes. We do not only just do scholarships, our programming goes from not only the Toys for Tots, we have financial literacy programs, we have family strengthening programs, uh, we have different types of programming that we offer in the community beyond just scholarships. Okay, so it's not just money. Uh, what is, I mean, what is your, your mission? Why, why did you guys start up? Well, again, uh, in partnership with Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority, the mission is really to serve the community. So wherever we see a need uh -huh. in the community, that's what we try to fit. Okay. We've worked with uh, the youth villages. Mm -hmm. So we've gone to youth villages and worked in their garden. One okay. of the things over at youth villages is um, some of the children like to work in the garden and that's a sense of calming for them. So we've gone into the, the garden and just try to refresh the garden uh -huh. so that when the children come and plant, uh, the garden is already sectioned out 
and in a condition where all they have to do is come and plant. Awesome. So while that is also in partnership with the sorority, some of the items that we may have um, used to refresh the garden, mm -hmm. whether it's the mulch or the wheelbarrows, right. the foundation may have written the grants to mm -hmm. maybe Lowe's or Home Depot right. or gotten the mulch to provide that for the sorority to go and do that. Right, so you've got that local connection, that flexibility as Legacy of Pearls to go to those local businesses, local individuals, local organizations, and work together a little, mm -hmm. a little easier than you know, relying on the national level Correct. for everything. Correct. Okay, that's great. Well, we've got the vegetables in here. We're gonna let them soften just a little bit. Uh, we are almost there. We're gonna add garlic. We're gonna add the pearl barley, a little bit of water, and then we're gonna let it simmer. I can't wait to taste that. Yes. We've got our risotto <laughs> simmering in the background. So it's got to simmer for about 25 to 30 minutes. So there's a green dressing that goes on top, a fresh green dressing. It's almost like a, uh, the, the green sauce uh, that you put on pasta. Okay. A little bit like that. Um, so we are gonna use half a bag of rocket or arugula, arugula. as we say in America. Uh, we've got some flat leaf par parsley, mm -hmm. mint, capers, and then the juice of a lemon. So we're gonna put all of that in the food processor mm -hmm. and get it nice and creamy. So I'll let you handle the rocket for right now, just a half a, half a bag of that. Just put it in the food processor. Yep. Just chunk it in. I'm gonna do a small handful of parsley. That's about a small handful right there. And then we're also gonna do a small handful of mint. The trick is to get it in the food processor, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that should be good right there. Now, you don't have to cut up the mint leaves a whole lot or the parsley because it is gonna get chopped up, chopped up. in the uh, food processor, but I like to go ahead and chop it up a little bit. Gives it less work to do. It smells good too. It does. You're making me hungry. <laughs> All right, so I'll go ahead and throw that in. And what I'll do is I'm gonna cut this lemon and let you juice it into, directly in. There you go. Show my strength. Yes. Yes. All right, that looks fantastic. Now we can do the other half. Just dump it out right there. Yes. Teamwork. Makes the dream work. <laughs> I like that. Teamwork makes the dream work. Perfect. And then we're gonna do a teaspoon of capers. Capers are very strong, so you don't need much. It's gonna give it a salty, briny taste. Now, I'm guessing that we're gonna need a little bit of oil in here, but I'm gonna go by the recipe to start, and we'll go ahead and get that going. It's not looking bad. Mm -mm. All right, let's check it. Oh yeah, that looks mm -hmm. great. Lemon juice. Look at there. Smells good. It does, smells pretty good. All right, so that goes, uh, we'll put that in another bowl, put it in the refrigerator, and it'll be ready to dress our risotto. So when we come back, we're gonna be reset and ready to cook our second and last recipe, the Legacy of Pearl Onions Cream. 
supreme version. <laughs> we'll be right back. So we've got our uh, risotto, everything made, and it's uh, we got the green dressing in the uh, refrigerator. Still simmering that risotto. It takes a little bit of time. We probably got about 10 minutes left. And in that time, we're gonna get our pearl onions going. Yep. Our creamed legacy of pearl onions. And this, yes, you got the pearls on. I didn't even <laughs> notice that. She dresses the part. That's good advertisement. <laughs> And speaking of advertisement, uh, give us your website again. Where can we find you guys? So www.legacyofpearls.org. Mm -hmm. We also okay. have a Twitter page mm -hmm. and a Facebook page. You got it all, right? We got it all, but you can get to them all from the website. Awesome. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, we've got our frozen pearl onions here. You can use fresh. Uh, Kind of, sometimes it's kind of hard to find fresh yes. pearl onions. Uh, there, there are additional steps you have to go through to do this uh, with fresh. So you have to cut the ends off, peel them, that kind of thing, which takes forever. So, so we use frozen. We went with the frozen. We need a cup of heavy cream. So if you can handle that, we also need a half a cup of chicken stock. We're on medium heat over here. So I'm gonna add some liquid so we don't do too much damage to the onions. Don't want them to burn. I'll let you pour that right in. I'll grab a spoon. Perfect. Looks like the perfect amount of liquid there. We're also gonna add a bay leaf. Now this is gonna simmer until the, uh, if I can figure out how to open this. Now this is gonna simmer until uh, the cream reduces and it gets kind of uh, thick. You want it to be like a sauce. And then we can season with salt and pepper at the end. So that's probably gonna be about 20, 25 minutes on a simmer. Okay. All right, and while that is going and, and doing its thing, I would imagine, just like all the other organizations that we have on here, you guys rely on money Obviously, Correct. it takes money to do scholarships, run the organization. Correct. Uh, how do you get your funds? Correct. So I talked a little bit about uh, the scholarships and how you can set up a your own scholarship and how you, we take donations through the website. Right. So I did talk a little bit about that, but we also have other ways that individuals and corporations can give. Um, beyond the website, uh, but mainly for individuals, you can set up through Amazon Smiles. Uh, we can be one of your charities that you give when mm -hmm. you buy things through Amazon. Uh, you can also set up through your Kroger Plus card, be one of your charities that you give to when you make your purchases through Kroger using your Kroger Plus card. Um, those directions for Amazon um, as well as Kroger is on, is on our website. Okay. Um, but also we have our fundraising events. Mm -hmm. The fun stuff. The fun stuff. <laughs> the fun stuff. We do have a fundraiser coming up in 2018, our night out on, on the town. Legacy of Pearls presents Harlem Nights. Awesome. It is uh, March 17th. Uh -huh. uh, if you go to our website, you'll see all that, the information about that. It's 20, Roaring 20 type, Roaring Twenties. That's hard to say. I know. Roaring. Roaring Twenties type of event. Uh -huh. uh, casino night event. Uh, it should be very fun. Well, get uh, dressed up. Get for dressed a night up. Night out on the town. Yes, the whole shebang. So uh -huh. uh, hopefully you'll want to come out and enjoy that. Again, check our website for that event. We are also having a cotillion in 2019 uh, for the coming out for high school girls. Awesome. Uh, the applications for that will be going out to the Douglas County High Schools, I believe early spring. Okay. Because again, it is a uh, event where the girls will go through a whole programming mm -hmm. event of different workshops and uh, dancing and okay. different 
um, culture type of activity so mm -hmm. that it will culminate with the cotillion and the coming out mm -hmm. celebration in 2019. So the cotillion is almost like a graduation. A graduation presentation uh -huh. uh, event for the girls and I believe uh, it's not just for seniors, but we will have other grades involved as well. Okay. So those applications will be available for the high school girls coming okay. in the spring because it does start uh, in 2018, but it will culminate in 2019. So those are two fundraising events that will be coming up. So again, visit our website, www.legacyofpearls.org. Anything you want to know about Legacy of Pearls, you can go to the website. You got the fundraising, you got all the information about what they do for the community. That's what this show is all about, giving back to the community and highlighting the people that do that. And also, we're, it's a call to you to get involved. Um, if you're not involved with something already, uh, you can give to your community by going to Legacy of Pearls and uh, seeing what you can do. You can have fun too, go to one of the, the events. You yes. know? That's, that's the fun way to give back. So we've got our pearl onions simmering right now, almost simmering. They will simmer again for about 20, 25 minutes until that, that cream gets nice and thick because you want it to be almost like, like cream corn, but it's creamed onions. Uh, our risotto is almost ready. I can't wait to yes. taste all of this. So I'm when we come starting back, the water. oh yeah, we've been cooking too long, it's time to eat. <laughs> so when we come back, we will have everything ready and we'll take a taste. We've got all of our food ready. Now the moment that we've been waiting for. The tasting. Tasting. So we've got our green sauce here. I'm just gonna do a little bit, a little dollop. I'll let you choose how much you want. A dollop will do you. Yeah. I'm sure it's gonna be pretty, pretty bold. I'll mix that up a little bit. So we got the chicken. The chicken was just fall off the bone, I mean, because you're braising it, essentially. All right, what do you want to taste first? I say we go with the onions first. Go with the onions first? Yeah. The pearls? The pearls. Cream Legacy of Pearl Onions. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Never had them before, but I'll definitely have them again. They kind of pop in your mouth. They do. So much flavor too. Creamy. So that's a win. All right, moving on to our chicken and Legacy of Pearl Barley Risotto with the green sauce. In my mind, another winner. That is. I like the green sauce. Yeah, adds a little bit of punch, a little kick. Take a little piece of the uh, the chicken. Got some green sauce on there too. Mm. I think we've made a fantastic meal here. Good job. High five. Woo! Pretty good. Yes. Thank you so much for being on the show today. Thank you You're for having great. me. Great. Yes. And you were such a big help, too. I didn't have to do all the work. I love it when that happens. My chopping skills. Yes. <laughs> Legacy of Pearls, check them out. Go to the website. Get involved. If you don't get involved with Legacy of Pearls, get involved somewhere. It's all about helping our community. This is Servings Kitchen with a Cause. We'll see you next time.